Hello everyone, my name is Tanya and this is my introduction for the Birthstone Beauty um, project pan. This was a Fantastic Ladies collaboration last year and I wasn't part of the painting community last year so I got really excited and then I got really sad because I realized they weren't bringing this back this year. So I decided to do this on my own and I don't know if anybody else is going to be doing it but I was so excited by this that I decided I needed to do it. And the premise of this project is that you choose one item for every birthstone. So there are um, 12 products uh, in this project. I have 13 because I'm an overachiever. And so there's a one product for every month and a couple of the months have two options and for one of those I chose two products. So let's move on. For January the official birthstone color um, because I used the official gemstone birthstone list is garnet and it, I used um, the L'Oreal Infallible pressed pigment in glittering garnet and on camera this looks like it's got a bigger dip than it does um, it looks a little bit more impressive on camera, but this has 3.5 grams of product in it and that's a lot of product in this little tiny thing. So I'm not confident that I would finish the whole thing. So my goal for this is to hit pan. If I could hit pan on this, I'll be pretty happy. For February, the color is amethyst and I chose this Sephora eye Coal and it is in this beautiful purple color because you know purple and these don't have names they just have numbers so this is number seven and then for March March is aquamarine and I chose aquamarine sparkle by NYC and then for April the color is a diamond and I chose Diamond Dust by NYC. And then for May, May I was a little disappointed that I couldn't find anything better to pan, but with all of the eyeshadows that I have in this project and in everything else, I couldn't, couldn't keep putting eyeshadows in. So I chose an eyeliner and it is Jordana Easy Liner and it is in sea green. And it's just it's not really sea green, it's just green. And I will mark these on a piece of paper as I move along. And so that way I can mark all of these before I start. For June, June is Moonstone. And I got this Ink Redible You Glow Girl in Cosmic, Bl Cosmic Blur. And it's an iridescent jelly. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see just how beautiful it is. And I haven't opened this yet. I got it in my Ipsy bag uh, a couple months ago. And I was, I love this. It's so pretty. So pretty. July, was that, that was June. So July is Ruby. And for Ruby, I chose this Milani nail polish. Who knows how old it is because the name is worn off and it is in ruby jewels so that is for july for august august is peridot and i chose this hot topic green glitter liner september september is sapphire and i chose this nyc in sapphire, brilliant sapphire. And then October. October has two official birthstones, and one is pink tourmaline and one is opal. And I chose a product for each of those. So I've got for pink tourmaline, I've got this Mary Kay, and I don't know if you can really see that there it goes. This pink glitter gloss in glow with it. So that is for pink tourmaline. And then for opal, I have this NYC in opal sparkle. So it is just a white shimmer. 
I don't know if you're seeing a theme here. And then second to last is November, which is yellow topaz or citrine. And I only chose one product for that month because I just don't have a lot of yellows in my collection. And so I chose Amber Glitz by NYC. And the, this isn't doing it justice, but it's this absolutely gorgeous gold sparkle color. And then last but not least is December, which is turquoise. And I chose this Sally Girl uh, nail polish. And this doesn't have a name on it. So we're going to call it turquoise. So, and those are my 13 products for the Burstone Beauty uh, pan. And I'm going to check in every month with updates to show you where I am. And thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me. Have a wonderful day. Bye.